Are we on? We're on. Hello, Trisha. Welcome to my kitchen. It's not quite as nice as yours, but on the upside, I am the proud owner of this kitchen. It's all mine. I bought it with my meager income. I've done what fixing up there is to do. You know, I really ought to just get out of the picture and let you see my little kitchen. Um, there we go. And while we're doing this, I'll just quickly take you to see the rest of my house. There's a basement with uh, some rooms in it, and there's a loft where I sleep. I'm married. I was very poor when I met my husband, and thanks to him, I now live a normal life. I can go buy clothes when I need clothes. I've got this lovely computer and camera and extra pets, and well, life's pretty good. Uh, because it's my house, I'm not too worried about getting kicked out if something goes wrong between us. I'm saddened by the vitriol I've seen in posts responding to you, although I suppose it was to be expected. Some people just plain can't handle seeing other people with something different from they have and not responding to it the way they... I mean, you know, you're not sitting there going, oh, it's been so nice to have this wealth while I had it. I'm so sad that I'm going to lose it, but I know that I am strong and capable and confident and I have what it takes to make it in this world and I'll just build my own wealth base, which is kind of my point. Um, I can see the pain and I, th you know, the, the worst of it is you're feeling like you've been cheated and fooled. And so you're feeling shame um, and you're feeling vulnerable. And that's, that's something you're going to have to work through. But let me tell you, it's really not that bad. You're not vulnerable. You shouldn't feel shame. There really isn't... It's it just women the world over. Get put in your situation. I've been through more than one marriage. I pray this one works out. Um, and if it doesn't, and if he goes to court and gets a lawyer and proves that since he put so much money into my world, he deserves to take everything out of it, and I find myself being a bag lady, which is what I thought would happen to me when I was old because of the poverty of my youth. I really thought that I would get old and become a homeless bag lady. And I knew that even as a homeless bag lady, I had the resources to find joy. And that's the point. If you really want to win, you're going to walk away with grace. Let your lawyers do their job. They'll come up with some brilliant ideas and some brilliant strategies and drop the vitriol, drop the bitterness, and look forward to a new future. You're a beautiful woman. You're talented. You've got friends and social connections. You've got the gift of chat. You've got a whole world out there that you can walk out into and make all the money you need to buy what you need to keep a roof over your head, beautiful clothes on your back, pay your salon, pay your stylist, all those other things that I can only dream of. And you can do that without this guy's stuff, without being connected to him for the rest of your life, without giving a damn. You just have to get over the pain of rejection and being made a fool of. And, you know, as far as that never having had sex, thank God he didn't give you an STD because that's something you really can't get rid of. So, Patricia, cheer up. Chin up. Keep a stiff upper lip. You're British. Head back to London. Go sell those tickets. Screw him. Screw his money. Screw his kids. Screw the apartment. Walk away. At least... You didn't have to watch everything burn in a fire or go down in a hurricane flooded with filthy water or an earthquake take it out and nobody had to die and you can just move forward and take what's yours from the house, pack it up lovingly and don't break stuff and walk away with grace and then you'll be a winner.